Hello everyone. So today we are going to cover short encoding of words. So we are given a list of words and we have to return the length of shortest encoding of the given words. So how to make the shortest reference string? They have given certain rules. The first rule is the words dot length is equal to indices dot length and the reference strings yes ends with hash character. For each index, the substring of yes starting from indexes i and up to the next hash character. So let's understand this with an example. So here is our given example list of words and we are going to create the shortest reference string. So let's start with our first word time. So if you write time, it is going to be time and then ends with the hash sign. So the next word is me. So if you see within time, the me word is already covered. That is time is T-I-M-E and me is again M-E. So we are going to consider the word is already present and ends with the hash sign. So moving on to a third word bill, we cannot cover bill inside or within time characters. So we are writing bill and then putting in hash sign. So our shortest reference string is this we have constructed the string now if you see what are the values to be entered into the our indices matrix sorry indices array is going to be starting index of each word that is our first word time starts at the index 0 so it is going to be 0 and the second word me it is going to start at the index 2 that is 0 1 and 2 so we are going to put 2 here and then finally, our bell is going to start at 2, 3, 4, 5. So we're going to put 5 here. So this is the indices array is going to have. And if you count the total length of the string, it is going to be 10. That is our actual output. So how are we going to approach it? So we're going to consider putting all these words into a set. Our set is first going to ha have all the words in the given list of words. So it will be having time, me and bell. So now we are going to start considering each word and whether any substring of that word is present in the set, remove it. So starting with the first word time, we are going to consider every substring that can be formed from the word time is present in the set or not. Let's start writing the substrings that is i, m, e is one substring. We are not going to consider the whole string because it is already there in the set. We clearly know that. So the second substring we can form is m, e and the third substring is e. So first start checking whether i, m, e is there in the set or not. No, i, m, e is not there. m, e is there. So it's time to remove our m, e from the set. Why? Because we know m, e can be formed by having this time itself. So now our third substring E, which is not present. So skip and move to our second word. If you see in second word, E is the only substring we can form. So if you check that it is not there. So move on to our third word. In third word, E, L, 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 L and L. These are the three substrings we can form. We are checking whether we can, we have these substrings inside set. No, we don't have any of them inside set. So now we, we are done with having two words in a set. So which clearly means the words which are not considered in the set can be formed by having the words already present in the set itself. That is me can be formed by time itself. So we don't have, we don't need a separate me here. So once we are done with only required words in the set, we are going to iterate and add the length of the strings plus one. Why? Because if you construct the string, it is going to be time, length of the time, hash, bell, hash. So we are going to calculate our output by adding the length of the strings plus one. Because the length of the time is going to be four plus one for the hash plus length of the bell is going to be four plus one for the last hash and it is going to give us 10, which is our output. So this actually runs in big O of n square. 
where n is actually the number of words given in the words array. So let's see how we're going to code it. Actually, in this problem statement, I really don't know what is the purpose of Findices array because in our solution, we are not going to consider it in any of the place. So now let's start having a set. So in our set, we are going to put all the words from our uh, string array. So once our set is ready with the words we have, we are going to iterate every word and take the substring. Why i starts from 1? Because we are not going to consider the first character in every word. From the second character, we are going to check if that word is already present in the set or not. So we are going to check if that word is present, if that substring is present, then we are going to remove that from our set. So yes. Once this iteration is completed, all of our similar words or the words which are already present inside some word are going to be removed from the set. Then it's simple that we're going to calculate its length by adding one to every length present in the string. So we're going to iterate again. each word's length plus one and finally return the result. Let's run the code. Yes, the solution is accepted and it actually works in 13 milliseconds. So thanks for watching. If you like the video, hit like and subscribe. Thank you.